special pleasure for us to have uh, our speaker with us today, and it's a pleasure to have a chance to have you all here. That was not the original intent of this event. This event, uh, as I was saying before, uh, some of you were in the room, was set up as a special opportunity for youngsters from the Overtown Youth Center uh, who had been reading some of Ms. Dantigat's work to actually just have a, a conversation with her in an informal sort of way. As you may know, yesterday, uh, the, it was a big conference on the Americas held at the Biltmore Hotel, and uh, President Bill Clinton, who has recently become uh, an expert and kind of envoy to and from Haiti, spoke there as well, and I think that Ms. Dantikant may have some comments to make about that. Her situation as someone from Haiti who writes about what is happening in Haiti and among people who are Haitian Americans is uh, very pertinent to what's happening right now today. I heard yesterday, I heard President, President Clinton speak, and I think, I mean, one of the most mind-blowing things I saw him show there was this, um, this sort of charcoal replacing um, brick that some young man in Haiti had, had created by picking up trash and mixing it with sawdust, and then they created this kind of brick that you can burn with as char instead of charcoal. So, and this all to say that I think the difference this time is that his, he's working with Haitians within Haiti. Like people, I think, mm -hmm. now have realized that you have to, there's a, an element of self-determination that has to be part of whatever, right. um, pro whatever help is offered to Haiti and that, you know, helping people help themselves and that I think there's so much <laughs> You know, to talk about genius, I thought, you know, I was looking at this thing, I thought, that's genius, you know, that this is the kind of thing that can solve so many problems on so many levels. And so I think this, that's the kind of, at last, that's the kind of intervention we need where people are, are helped to, right. to blossom, to bloom, to have their ideas shown, you know, the line shine of their ideas. So I was, I was, that's one of the most exciting things I heard um, yesterday at the talk. We really uh, have a, a great love for Haiti and for other things, Haitian art and so on. And I was just wondering how often you go back there to visit, if you still have a lot of relatives there, and um, you know, how you feel about it when you, when you go there to visit. We were there last um, in March, and so I, have, I still have a very large family there that keeps getting larger with, with, with more friends that we make um, here and there, so um, I, I feel like, um, you know, my father used to say, you know, we left Haiti and it never left us. Like, I, I left Haiti, but it never left me. My name is Amy, and I'm a student here in African diaspora studies. And um, I'm really interested in it's very trendy to talk about Haiti and all of its problems and dictators and deforestation, but as someone who just returned, all I can think about is how beautiful it is and what a wonderful time I had. And I was wondering if you could talk about maybe what you love about Haiti um, and also, too, what you love about living here in this country. I don't think it's trendy, though, to talk about these things. Um, it's... Um, for, for a lot of us, you know, who, when we go back now and have a good time, we had to leave for that, you know, like our families might have been too poor to enjoy that, so we had to leave so we could go back and have a good time. So it's not, it's not trendy for us. Um, and maybe you're right on the sense that, um, that we take those of us who take the, the we, maybe we take the beauty of it for granted, it is a beautiful place. And um, when we, you know, we went, uh, I was there for Easter with my family, and yes, we saw, you know, we saw, we were in the Rara, we had a great time at the beach, the beautiful mountains, and I always say that um, to, to people, you know, to people too. And I, there's so many things I love about Haiti that I wouldn't have time to say that, um, but um, but I think for us, you know, I just want you to forgive us this burden that even when we are, some of us, I don't want to speak to everybody, even when we are having a good time ourselves when we go back, the burden of history is still with us. And the fact that our brothers and our cousins and others cannot 
is also with us, which, um, which we're never free from. Um, so what do I love about uh, living in Miami? <clears throat> that it's so much like Haiti. 